Good afternoon, viewers at home. This is Mathematics with Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall look at infinite geometric series. We want to study infinite geometric series. So don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be daily notified. Now, let's recall. Let's recall. We recall that the sum of an n sum of a geometric uh, uh, series or geometric progression is equal to a into 1 minus r raised power n all over 1 minus r. That is, if the absolute value of r is less than 1. Now, so if this happen, if the absolute value of r, if absolute value of r is less than 1, we can you know, evaluate the limiting value, the mean limiting value of an infinite geometric series. We can evaluate the limiting value as n becomes, you know, larger and larger. So, uh, infinite geometric series is a series that does not have an end. Okay? It doesn't have an end. It continues endlessly. So, in this case now, we know that the sum to, I mean, the sum, uh, the n term of a geometric progression is uh, given as a to 1 minus r is by n all over 1 minus r. If the value of r is less than, you know, the absolute value of r is less than 1. If it, otherwise, then the, the, the formula will change. Okay? Now, what we want to do now is we want to evaluate the limiting value of uh, an infinite series as our n becomes larger and larger. So let's let the the limits limits of s n as n tends to infinity be equal to s. Okay. Suppose we have that, and we know that you know we know that uh, s n is equal to a into 1 minus r is power n all over 1 minus r. So that implies that the limit as n tends to infinity over Sn will be the limit as n tends to infinity of A into 1 minus r is power n all over 1 minus uh, r. Okay? Now, which invariably means which invariably means this invariably means you're gonna have the limit as n tends to infinity, you know, of Sn is now going to be a you know all over one minus r. Yes, the minus limits as n tends to infinity. A R raised by N all over 1 minus R. Yes. So, using the principle of limits, that is limited to a theorem, we can have this could be A all over 1 minus R, the minus A all over 1 minus R limits as N tends to infinity of R raised by N. Yes. Okay. That is the limits S N as N tends to infinity. So by the time our n tends to infinity, this one becomes what? S infinity is equal to A all over 1 minus R minus A all over 1 minus R. You know, you apply what there? R raised to power infinity. Okay? We should recall. Recall. Recall R is power infinity. Or you can say limits as n tends to infinity over R raised to power n, which is a R is power infinity is equal to what? Zero. Okay? So it's equal to zero. So in that case, in that case, in that case, we're going to have S infinity will now be equal to A all over 1 minus R minus everything here is now zero. Minus zero, which is S to infinity is now what? A all over 1 minus R. So, so sum to infinity of an infinite geometric series is given as uh, a all over 1 minus r. a is the first term, r is the common ratio. So let's look at an example. 
to buttress uh, this illustration. Example, example, find the sum to infinity. Find the sum to infinity of the series. Find the sum to infinity of the series. Let's look at the series. Find the sum to infinity of the series one. What are the, what's the, what's the series? One plus seven all over ten plus seven all over ten all squared. Okay. Plus seven all over ten raised power three plus some other values. Now we want to find the sum to infinity. Okay. How do we find sum to infinity here? First of all, what is our first term? Our a is 1 because we need those parameters. Then our common ratio, you don't forget, our common ratio is always you divide the succeeding term by the preceding one. So that will be 7 all over 10 as the second term all over first term or 7 all over 10 squared divided by 7 over 10. You know this by this. So you only have 7 over 10. It's rather straightforward. Okay. So in that case now, sum to infinity, sum to infinity now, which is what? Uh, sum as n times infinity is a over, which is now what? Sum to infinity will now be a, 1 all over 1 minus our r is 7 over 10. So we must first solve the, the LCM as 10 minus 7 all over 10 all over 1. I hope you understand. The same of this one is 10. So 1 in 10 is 10 times 1 is 10 minus 10 in 10. That's 1 times 7. 7 all over 10. Then we have 1 here already. So that would be what? 1 all over. This is what? 3 all over 10. I hope you understand. So by the time you find the reciprocal of uh, 3 all over 10, you have 10 all over 3. Which is going to be what? 3.3333. So the sum to infinity of this uh, series, of this infinite geometric series, is uh, 10 over 3 or 3.3333. Thanks very much. Don't forget, click the subscribe button below the video. God bless you.